I, I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm in it. I'm like, I'm in time of the league. Yeah, 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 talk about that as well. Okay. I'm here with Danny Dyer. Hi, Danny. Hello, my love. How are you? I'm very well. Don't eat me microphone, man. Are you having a good night? I'm having a really good night. What are you drinking? I'm on the old vodka cranberry, right? Which you would probably think. Yeah, I'm into a man's man, yeah, but I'll turn it off, go down well, babe. Does it, does it yeah. go down fast? Does get you nice and drunk, does it? Well, I was drinking, like, bottles of Stella earlier. Oh, and I, and I felt a bit heavy. And, you know, I, I started to spew my ring out. That's not a good look, is it? No. Plus, with all the ladies I'm, after I'm a what? Like, nah, well, yeah, listen. I've had a few birds, but you know what? No, I've not had a few birds. <laughs> I've had a few birds looking at me. You're a salt, now. Look, 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 listen. Anyone watches this? Look at this bird here. <laughs> what a fucking salt. What does it mean? What a salt? Yes. It means you're from good stock. Good it means stock. you're like, um, you know, you're a good salt. You're like, um, you're good. You're like, like, a, you're like a strong wine brand. Nah, well, yeah, yeah. But if you was a wine, you'd be like, um, you'd be at least a 40 year old bottle of wine. Like a really good bottle of Beaujolais. Good bird to breed with. You heard it here first, baby. <laughs> so, right, you've got a brand new film coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. Right, I've got a film coming out called Doghouse, right? Right, right now this film is the most bollocky film you will ever watch. Now, when I say bollocky, I'm getting a bit technical now. Right. <laughs> it's about a group of men that go to a village, and in this village, all the women, like yourself, have turned into cannibals and they've ate all the men, they eat them, they just Ooh, want to eat men. I like men. the sound of that. Right? So, you know, it's a fucking mad idea. I'll survive anyway, I'll survive till the end and I'll fucking do them all. I'll stick fucking electric carving knives in their neck. You know what, listen. What, do you murder them? You don't murder them, do you? Well, yeah, well, they're eating us, babe. They want to eat us. Oh, right, I get you now. Oh, so, they don't just want to have sex with you, they want to murder you. No, 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 there's no oh. sex involved. They just want to eat our, like, eat us, like, they actually want to eat our flesh and shit. Oh, right, so, okay, you. you know, it's a mad idea, right? And I'm not, I'm playing, I'm playing the same sort of character I've played many, many times before. So, it's not like me being, like, a comedian or anything like that. I wish I was a comedian. I wish I could do like 87 accents, but I can't. But you know what? I love playing this role. I love playing the Cockney with the fucking, the bad boy with a heart. Because you like being known for a proper Cockney, don't you? From Cannon Town, aren't you? No, it's just less hard work for me, actually, right, because I'm playing myself and yeah. it's quite easy. Like, if I go and play a guy aristocrat, it's hard work. Yeah. And you've got another film coming out as well, haven't you? I've got another film coming out, right? called Dead Man Running, right? With my very good friend Tama Hassan. 50 cent, you having yeah, that? Man. 50 fucking cent, right? And Brenda Bleffin. Brenda Bleffin, a very Shakespearean old school actress, right? Someone I've admired for a long time. So Brenda, 50, me and Tama, I mean, what a fucking mad thing to do. And, 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 and Rio Ferdinand, who I love, Although he left West Ham, left West Ham, <laughs> I can understand why he did, but, it, you know, he put a bit, he put, yeah, uh, it, uh, it's your favourite team, uh, and, 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 and Anton went as well, but anyway, I won't go into that, right, but Rio funded this movie, right, and you know what, I respect him, man, for coming into the movie game and doing it the right way, doing it the right way, put the money into the right film, because it is such a crime caper, it's a crime caper that's been, you know, look, people are going to say gangster film, Cockneys, eh, eh, you know, you think, well, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, you know what, people quite like these type of movies, and we've done it with 50 Cent and Brenda Bleffin. This film is the fucking bollocks, I will stand up and be candid and say, I'm so proud of it, it means the world to me, this movie. So when can we expect that to be out? I'm thinking around November time, around November time, they haven't quite got a release date on it yet, but you know what, we got distribution, Sony have got it, it's going to be massive. Am I going to get an invite? Oh. That is the question. Is she going to get an invite? Is she going to get an invite? Right. 
Um, Better be a good answer this. Oh. It's taken too long to answer here. I'm trying to think of a really sophisticated answer, but actually, <laughs> yeah, because you're fucking invited. Look at you. Better ya. be. Look at you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like you're beautiful. Are you trying to show off my boobs? No, I would never do that because I've got a missus. Good. Right? Of course. Right, I've got kids and that. Have you? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I've got two kids. Are they here tonight? One of them is, yeah. Oh, really? I've got my 13 year old daughter upstairs raving. I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. It's very illegal, but she's upstairs. Bang on, my daughter. She's raving with Tamar. Yeah, she's, she's jumping about with Tamar. Probably not a good move. But let me just say, what a presenter. <laughs> Thank you. Where the fuck you been? What have you been doing with yourself? This? I've been real stopping me doing busy. What have you been doing this for? Um, I actually saw you in the paper. I saw you? it, yeah. Like, you were really fit in that. And then, uh, and then I saw you and you was really fit. You don't, it's not a lollipop, you know. Sorry. These are my tools. It reminds, me of a, uh, it reminds me of a black twister. Does it? If you break it, you're paying for it. Oh, well, I won't break it, baby. I'll just suck it really nicely. Would you ever have sex with a man? I've already fucked a man. And uh, I hated it. It was horrible. Didn't do it for me, you know what I mean? Did you give or receive? I would never receive a cock. Would you not? No, I'd whack me cock in a man's mouth, yeah, but... I would... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on though. What am I any, talking about? Any hole's a goal, isn't it? No, nah, I ain't, to be honest. No, nah, I ain't. No. You know, that's fucking. Do you really believe that? That's what I'm Have I get you told. ever sucked on a bird's clit? This interview's for you, not for me. Have you ever sucked on a bird's clit? Not recently, no. So you have? No, not recently. No, nah, I don't think she has. I think. You no, know I think you're quite a straight goer. What, I don't what think makes you're you think quite that? square. Do you think? Yeah, not in a bad way. I always think that, you know what, you're very like, like, to pull you, you've got to woo ya. You. You've got to be a man's man. No, I wouldn't be a man's man even, I think you've got to take you out for a fucking Chinese, right? <laughs> Spend about 80 quid, <laughs> you know, Jeez, yeah, God. spring rolls and all that, right? Then you've got to talk to you for about an hour after, and then maybe you'll give me a kiss on the lips, right? I think, listen... We're gonna, we're gonna get on that one. Better be a good Chinese for me to give yeah, you a kiss no, on that. Yeah, no, 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 like, we're talking about like Chinese at the Dorchester. Oh, right, that's different then. Like the best fucking sticky ribs you have in your life. <laughs> Couple of glasses of sake, no, I still don't want to know. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, let's talk about you. Oh, yeah, yeah all that bollocks, all right? But it's gonna be worth it because you're salt. You'll be a, you I'm are salt. a fucking salt. That is my new word. Young and old, you're very young, ain't you? I wish you'd stop looking at my lips, you're making us nervous. You've got good lips. I'm having to lift them all the time, have you seen what I've done? Oh, you ain't got a cold sore, have you? No, I smiled, right, someone made me laugh and I split all my lip. Cold sore. It's just my excuse because if I tell you I've got, if I haven't got a cold sore, that means I can't give you a kiss. If you had a cold sore, I'd suck it off your fucking mouth. How Would about you? That? Have you got herpes? Have I got herpes? <laughs> <laughs> Only wear me helmet, but other than that, no. I'm a it's fucking clean man. It's a type of herpes, you know. I know it is. I know it is. Have you got the virus? No, I've Do got it. Yeah, the virus? Uh, oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've just gave him the herpes. And you know what? <laughs> what a way to catch fucking herpes. <laughs> Next step is to catch genital herpes. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny Dyer. You're watching number five at RioFerdinand.com. Hi, I'm Danny Dyer. Oh, let me start again. What is it? Say, I'm Danny Dyer. I'm Danny Dyer, this is number five, RioFerdinand.com. Rio Ferdinand, legend that he is. I love him to death, but he left West Ham. What the fuck was you playing at, Rio? The fuck?